If you think that your GLP-1 has stopped working because you have hit a plateau, then you need to listen to this. It is completely normal to hit plateaus in your journey and we expect those along the way. But let me tell you the reason why these happen. One really big thing we see, water weight. So things like inflammation, stress, hormone changes, sodium, all of these things come together and they will make the scale pause for a little bit, a week, even a month maybe. Keep in mind though, that doesn't necessarily mean that the fat loss is stopping. This is why it's so important that you do measurements both before you start medication and during the process because you could still be losing inches. Secondly, you do something called metabolic adaptation, meaning that as you get smaller and you weigh less, you burn less calories. Your body is very smart, it's meant to adapt. So sometimes the game plan has to change a little bit as you get closer to your goal. Not eating enough is a huge problem. When you don't eat enough, your metabolism goes back another notch. So a lot of people, especially when they're on a GLP-1 at higher doses, do not get in enough food and they also don't get in enough protein and it further ratchets back that metabolism. So you gotta make sure you're eating plenty. Fourth, constipation. So a lot of my GLP-1 patients, even if they're having regular bowel movements can still be pretty backed up. That can make the scale not your friend. Keep in mind a plateau is very normal and should be expected along the way. I really always tell people don't panic unless that plateau has lasted longer than about four to six weeks. At four to six weeks, then you need to reach out to your provider and talk to them about if there's something you need to change or whether or not you need a dose adjustment. If your effort feels really solid, but the scale is stuck, hit that follow button right there. And I've got some more tips that can get you going in the right direction.